Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. A busy day out here at the lot, so I apologize for any background noise, but I'm gonna give you the lowdown on the best value tractor attachments. So we all have a limited budget to work with. We're looking for that Swiss Army knife, that one attachment that can do it all. Well, it depends what your projects are that you have coming up, but take a look at this list because if you have a checklist of, I gotta do this and that and this around the yard, maybe one of these tools can tackle a whole bunch of those projects instead of getting a separate tool for each individual task. And real quick, guys, I am proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. I'm big on safety and stability. We all need it for our machines. They feel real tippy side to side. If you're looking to add on some stability solutions to your tractor, check out Bora. There's gonna be a link down below. You can also get there from my website, but you do order directly from Bora. You know what, and I wanna get feedback from you. This video in particular is about saving you guys money, having an attachment that can do more than one thing. So if you like what you see, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you wanna find that attachment, head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Number one on this list, in my mind, is probably the best value of everything that I sell. This is gonna be a dethatcher. It is a three-point mounted dethatcher. It weighs 48 pounds. This is a 60-inch version. As the name suggests, dethatching is probably the primary purpose, but a lot of other good uses. I have put this last fall on my machine, raking up leaves in the yard. It's not gonna get every last leaf that's out there, but the vast majority, very easy to do. You can use this going forwards or backwards. Besides those two purposes, it's gonna be really good for seed preparation. If you're seeding a new area in the spring or the fall and you wanna rough up the ground a little bit while you're dethatching, gonna be a good application, a good time to use this so that you have better seed to soil contact. They showed this on their website, on CMP's website. You can lightly resurface driveways if you have a stone driveway. You can collect pine needles. It's a very light application. So this is not gonna be aggressive on a lawn or any kind of a delicate surface. You may go over an area once or twice just to get the right result that you're looking for. But at the very low price point, this is a very versatile product, easy to manage, easy to store. We sell these and we ship them all over the country. Okay, flipping the script a little bit, we're gonna go from one of the cheaper attachments with the dethatcher up to probably one of the most expensive with the sweep all. This is a commercial grade unit. It's made for heavy use. If you're a landscaper or maybe you have a large estate to manage and take care of, this unit is gonna be very versatile. Three point hitch attachment, rear PTO driven. They do make a self powered unit if you wanna go that route as well. Maybe for a garden tractor or for maybe a zero turn or some other kind of uh, piece of equipment, it's gonna collect all sorts of debris. You're able to use this on a variety of surfaces, both paved, we've used it in our lawn as well for dethatching, but spring cleanup is big. We did it here and over in my mom's neighborhood, the cul-de-sac where those big piles of snow melt off in the spring and leave behind all sorts of random debris. Uh, we've used it for storm cleanup. You're gonna see on their website, they use it for apples you know, and orchards that are left over, uh, municipalities uh, for their roads and their, and their communities. They're gonna use it for goose poop cleanup, uh, construction debris cleanup. There's a variety of uses. This spring we used it for a combination of kind of a spring cleanup, getting all the sticks that had fallen from the woods into the yard, cleaning up the core aeration plugs, and then doing a bit of a dethatching as well. This unit comes in 48 and 60 inches wide. Green is gonna be the standard color. Orange you can get as well. There's also other colors available for an upcharge. This is an item you order directly from me. I'm gonna give you 5% off, but we are gonna ship this manufacturer direct. I did a video not too long ago about the biggest purchase regrets when you initially got your tractor. A couple of the comments actually were all about pallet forks, that they didn't think you should even be able to sell the tractor without a set of forks. And I'd have to agree, they are one of the most versatile attachments by far. As the name might suggest, pallets are a pretty common use for pallet forks, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. A lot of folks call this a poor man's grapple because you can certainly go under plenty of logs, debris, brush piles, pick them up, move them from point A to point B. It is certainly not as handy as a grapple, but it's also a much smaller investment to make. But again, we're talking about versatility. And if you can do more than one thing with an attachment, this is a very simple concept too. There's not a lot of moving parts besides sliding the forks back and forth. It's a great investment. I suggest everybody have a set. But it's amazing what you'll find uses for and pallets might be something you never use them for, but it could be moving patio furniture around from point A to point B in the spring and the fall, maybe loading or unloading a truck bed, maybe even picking up and moving around your other attachments. The list is really endless. If you have uses for these attachments that you have found that I haven't mentioned, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. Next up, let's talk about the Stump Wrecker. Okay, this is my own design, the mini stump bucket. It goes right in place of your normal traditional loader bucket. 
We're gonna have them available for a John Deere Quick Attach and a Skid Steer Quick Attach, but this is designed for small tractors, subcompacts and compact tractors. And talk about versatile. This thing has a laundry list of uses for it. You can do shallow trenching. You can, of course, dig out stumps. You can plant trees if you want to. You can do scarifying if you have hard packed area. You know, some guys have even used this to lift up and break up old concrete sidewalks or driveways if you want to dig out fence posts. It's even equipped with a chain slot here so that you can go ahead and tie off to something and pull it along. Again, the list just goes on and on, but this is a product that we carry and we sell. So we can package this up and we can actually ship it UPS ground right to your house. Alrighty guys, these next three are gonna be combined because not only am I telling you about the most versatile tractor attachments that you can use on your tractor, we're gonna give it to you in the most efficient manner. Three of them right here. So number one up top are these bolt-on brackets by JU Fabworks for all sorts of John Deere buckets. He's coming out with versions for other buckets as well. So Kubota owners, be patient. Same thing with Mahindra. There's gonna be some sort of a universal bracket that you can bolt on. But right now, the big ones that he has are gonna be different options for John Deere buckets. So not only are these gonna open up the versatility of your tractor, but they're also going to reinforce the top edge. The standard John Deere loader buckets are just a thin piece of steel. You'll see these get bent in or maybe out all the time. And so this is gonna provide a lot of additional protection here, but you're gonna see a variety of chain hooks, D-rings, grab handles, a two inch receiver that you could use with a drop hitch. A lot of ways to secure equipment or material to your bucket, or if you want to tie off something and drag it, or if you're maybe trailing your, your tractor and you want to have a different tie down point, this is going to be handy for all kinds of different applications. Now I get a lot of use out of this tooth bar. This is going to be by Heavy Hitch. This is a product that you actually order directly, well similar to the JU Fabworks, you order it directly from the manufacturer. A lot of companies I work with, you use code GWT, you save 5% off of your order. And Heavy Hitch has been a long time partner. This is really going to open up the versatility of your bucket. If you have a long flat edge, like a traditional or a standard bucket comes with, it can make it very difficult for digging in different applications. A tooth bar is going to totally change the dynamic of that, give you a lot of different concentrated points to so really dig into dirt if you're trying to dig out a trench or maybe dig into a pile that you just had dropped off. It could even be mulch or stone. You're going to be amazed at the difference, the increased efficiency that you have using something like this. And it could be a different brand that you find out there as well. I found this heavy hitch to be really convenient though because it doesn't require any drilling into your bucket anywhere. There's seven Allens that just tighten down securely. I've never had an issue with this falling off or having to retighten anything. Anytime I wanna take it back off, seven quick Allens and off it comes. And of course, the bucket itself is a very versatile attachment. And fortunately, this is something that most of you guys are gonna get, or gals, are gonna get with your loader and your tractor in general. I will say, if you can get a quick attach bucket, the ability to quickly take your bucket on and off, so you can put pallet forks on, or a snow pusher, or a grapple, or any other piece of equipement, you're gonna come out further ahead. However, the simple versatility of a plain old bucket by itself cannot be understated. This can really be an attachment that's used for all seasons. You can, if you need to, Use it in the winter time to plow and remove snow, in the spring and the fall to maybe regrade or help level out your driveway as you're adding on or removing material or doing landscaping projects. And also with those big piles of mulch, of dirt, of stone, whatever you need to transport and move around, that's just the beginning of what a bucket can be used for. Of course, it's gonna be very good at carrying whatever you feel like throwing in here. And then you can always add on these additional attachments and accessories to the bucket to open up the versatility even more. A really cool one for the winter time if you are plowing to try to save your driveway and maybe even save your bucket edge, look up edge tamers. It's about maybe 100, 150 bucks, somewhere in that ballpark. They just kind of, they're like skid runners for your bucket. You just get two or three of them along here. It's gonna keep your bucket edge just above the driveway so you don't dig up all your gravel and put it into your yard. You're not gonna wear down the corners of the bucket. Look into edge tamers. I don't work with them, but you just buy them directly from their website. A really great product to have. A box plate is good for quite a few different purposes. You know, we tilled in the spring when we didn't have any tillers available. We just cranked the top link of our three-point hitch really short. So it kind of tilted the whole thing forward and we were able to use these teeth to rip up the ground and just get it prepped for seeding. You can also use this to move large quantities of material from point A to point B. So if you have a landscaping project at your house or an expansion or maybe it's a new home and you kind of want to grade it out or level it out a little bit, 
a great way to move a big pile of dirt from over here to over there. And then after that, once you get a little bit more practice and control, you can feather that three point, raise this up and down to really grade it out smoothly. Probably not as good as a land plane would do. However, this is a more versatile attachment. I've even heard of guys using these in the winter time. You do want to make sure you take out these teeth, but you can put it on your tractor, go back to your garage door or to a building where you can't otherwise push snow away. You can go ahead and get this right up close and then pull it away. A tiller is an interesting attachment. You know, it's one of those that you don't use very often, but when you need it, it's hard to beat it. <laughs> but if you can find a way to increase its versatility and its use, it makes it a little bit easier to justify. And in fact, this is one of the funner attachments that I ever use. I always enjoy seat time when I can turn, you know, untilled ground into a beautiful seed bed. You just can't do that with anything else besides a tiller. So a quick way to get your payback is just to spend a day or two in the springtime, hire your services out. Even if you're making a hundred bucks for a garden or a food plot, it's just a lot of fun to do. But if you want to open up the versatility a little bit more, a couple interesting things that I've seen that guys do to increase the versatility of their tiller is to actually use it for seed prep for a lawn. You know, if you want to reseed an area, the fall is a great time to do that, but kill it off first give it a good couple passes with a tiller and you're going to have a really good seed bed to redo your lawn or maybe if you're hiring out your services and even redoing a driveway now if you have a lot of stone it's probably not going to work so well but for those of you that just have dirt driveways that you want to completely level out it's been all rutted up and just needs a good work over i've seen quite a few folks actually online and in videos on youtube that have used tillers to rework their driveways start fresh from an even level surface all the way across that you can tamp down and then cover with stone after that just another way to try to justify a tiller. The last one I want to talk about is going to be ballast weight, but ballast weight that can do more than just hang off the back of your tractor. The ballast weight in and of itself is going to make your tractor more usable, maybe not more versatile unless you consider getting into more areas or maybe able to lift more weight safely that could potentially make it more versatile, but you're going to have a lot of storage solutions and a lot of different ballast options that you have. And we're looking right here. This is a prototype It's not for sale yet. And in fact, we're gonna have to do some refinement. This, what you're looking at is a really cool item. That's my own design of a ballast box, but it's just too expensive right now. Part of the reason is steel costs are too high. So what we have going on here are actually some Atta boxes on the outside of a standard ballast box. So you can take this Atta box and put it way over here. So if you're on an incline, you, you just can't help it. You have to be on a ditch or some goofy slope where you have to kind of go sideways. You can put a bunch of ballast weight over off to one side to really help plant you to the ground and kind of minimize that chance of potentially tipping over. On top of that though, you are going to have a built-in receiver so you can still tow something behind you. You're going to have some tool holders to carry additional tools with you. And we're also coming out with our own weight bracket, all right, so that you can put weights right on here, still have a receiver. We're actually going to add on some chain hooks too. This is the kind of stuff that I want to make. I, I have a lot of fun designing this, but I want to know if you want other features on something like this that would add more versatility to it, it would help out to get your feedback. And so I am coming out with this in particular so that I can have an affordable way to get you guys a bunch of suitcase weights, whether you want the 41s or the 70 pounders, along with the weight bracket. We can get it shipped to you, put it all on a pallet like what you see, and we can get it to you for the most affordable price found on the internet. So while we're talking about ballast and storage, this is probably the ultimate ballast slash storage solution for your tractor. Mounts right to your three point hitch. Gonna have an integrated weight bracket so you can put eight suitcase weights on there. Three point hitch, quick hitch compatible, tool storage galore for chainsaws, for shovels, for rakes, for post hole diggers. You have basically a trunk right here that you can carry along with you, fill it full of firewood fuel. You can add on a sprayer, a lot of different attachments you can add on if you want to. It has a two inch receiver, wheels so you can store it and move it around in your garage. You can see how easy this moves. This is a heck of a solution. It really is the ultimate storage and ballast weight for your tractor. I'm gonna have all sorts of uses. We are closing on our property very soon. I don't have any building or anything else going on out there. So I have to have a way to carry things along with me with my tractor. This is gonna get a heck of a lot of work. So this is a partner manufacturer that I work with. It's an item that you are gonna order directly from Big Tool Rack. They're gonna ship it right to you. The best part is you save 5% using code GWT. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Hopefully this gave you some ideas on how you can maximize your dollar by doing more than one project with the same attachment. If you found this enjoyable, I really would love to get a thumbs up from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. Leave a comment. And if you're looking for one of these attachments, the best place to start is goodworkstractors.com, so make sure you check it out. 
Thanks again for stopping by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.